some of these issues that I have just mentioned, these uh, uh, new ways of doing infusion therapies, uh, they are in this area and they are not covered by the guidelines because the guidelines, they are really produced after a time-consuming and very rigorous uh, assessment of the available data. So it's, it, it may take four years, which was the case of these guidelines published jointly by us, MDS, and the European Academy of Neurology. So th th these are important uh, pieces of information because especially for those physicians who are not really uh, experts in the field of movement disorders, they have access to really critical analysis of data and, and uh, this in, informs them on how really to try to improve the lives of these uh, patients. I, I would like just to, to make a, an important comment that these guidelines uh, that MDS has issued, they apply specifically to uh, countries which are part of the European Union. And this seems uh, initially to be a, a bit strange, but th th there are some legal implications and also the availability of treatments is extremely variable at a global level. So one, when uh, having access to this paper, which is an extremely important paper, must be aware of this uh, particular point.